Hello and welcome to another setup video here at Rhythm Room Music School. So today I'm very excited about this one. We have an Alesis Command Mesh Special Edition. So I'm just going to get cracking, start getting this thing set up. First thing we need, as always, I've got my trusty butter knife here just to get the boxes open. So let's pull it open now. First important box you're going to encounter is the accessory box, this one here. This is gonna have our drum key and a lot of stuff that we're gonna to need to get set up. So what we wanna do is make sure we put that to one side so we can refer to that whenever we need it. Oh, so it takes a bit of digging to get to, but you wanna get the rack box out first because this is gonna have our drum rack, our frame that we're gonna be building everything around. So we're gonna open this one first. Okay, so I've got the legs out now, and what we want to do is we want to lay it out how we're going to be building the kit around. So we're going to be putting the one with three connection points to the back left as you're facing it. We, so we can, a single connection point, we're going to go one to, down to the lower right and one to the lower left here. And then the one with the two connections is going to go to the top right there. Okay, so we're gonna have it put in front of us and it will look something like that. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these connecting supports now and we're gonna start putting them into the correct places. Okay, I'm gonna start putting these supporting poles on their feet now and standing this all up. So I've laid out where we want these poles to, to go approximately. So you're gonna have one long curved one but look uh, connecting between the, the top two connection points up here and then we're going to have another one over here on the right hand side connecting that point to this connector on the supporting leg we want the curve to be curving around us as we're facing it um, and then we're going to put this one the one with the uh, the extra connection here because i believe this is for the, the module for the drum kit brain we're going to put that into that second connection point there and into that connection point here. And then the shortest straight pole here is gonna go into this third connection point there. So I'm gonna do that now to get it all stood up. For this next step, we're gonna need a drum key. So we can find that in the accessory box. So I'll pop that open now. You wanna grab the bag that has all of the warranty information in it, because in this bag, that's where you've got a little bag in there uh, that has the drum key that we need. Okay, so here's our drum key. This is what it looks like. We're gonna be using this to loosen off the connectors here to get those, that pole into these connection points. I always like to start with the back supporting poles first because then you can stand the whole thing up. And when you've got one front leg connected, then it will start standing up on its own. All right, so I've got the pole connected between these two back legs now. So I'm just gonna leave that down on the floor and I'm going to now connect in the front right supporting pole as I'm facing it anyway. Um, in connected to there, into that second connection point on the back two legs. And then we should be able to have something that will then stand up by itself. And look at that, standing up by itself now. So I'm gonna raise this up, then again, make it a little bit more level. So remember, again, I'm going to connect this uh, this connection pole here with this mount on the brain, and I'm going to pop it on the second connection point here and the first connection point there. And also, you want to make sure that it is facing the, the right way up on the pole as well when we get that brain in there. I need to make a slight adjustment here. Stupidly, I put the mount for the drum kit brain on upside down. I should have connected the pole into the legs the other way around. This was something I corrected later, but don't make the same mistake as me. Anyway, back to the video. Okay, now we've got the frame set up. It's starting to give you an idea of the size of this kit. This is a pretty large kit for sure. So the last thing I need to plug in is this short pole into this third connection point down here. And this is where our snare drum is gonna live. We wanna make sure that it's facing towards us. Obviously the end that's blocked off that you can't see through. We're gonna have that facing us. And the end that you can see through is gonna go into that connection point. 
Okay, now that we've got the frame set up, we've got these mounts here, these connection points that we're gonna be able to mount all of the pads to. So we're gonna put two here on this main support here. We're gonna put two on this pole, one here and one here. So you've got one where the electric brain's gonna live, two up there, two there, and then one where the snare drum is going to live. Now we've got the mount points out, we wanna want be unscrewing this connection point here, and then we can open it up and clamp that mounting point onto the supporting poles. So the way that you wanna do it, is obviously release it, we wanna have the Elysis logo facing upwards, and then I like to clamp it on this way. Let's get that. I'll screw that a bit more. Okay, clamp it on this way. And then we have the, this uh, connection point here on the right hand side, because obviously I'm right handed, so it's easier for me to loosen it and tighten it um, from that angle. And we also want the, that, the actual mounting point to be below the supporting pole. Um, and again, with that, that's on, on the right hand side. Now I'm a massive idiot because there is actually a third one that we need to put on. And we put that one on up here because this is where our crash symbol is going to live. So what we want is to put this one on slightly differently. So we're gonna have, actually have the Alexis logo facing us because the stand for that symbol pad is straight. So we wanna have that pointing straight up over here. And it's the same for our hi-hat stand, which is gonna be over here, and one of these, which I believe I'm gonna make this one, I think. I'll make that one pointing straight up because we're gonna put our ride symbol uh, stand into that one there. So with that done, I'm gonna get the stands out. So we've got three stands here. One is shorter than the other two, and that's for our hi-hat, which is gonna go here. And then the two symbol stands are gonna go there and there. I'll do that now. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this now. And I'm still gonna adjust these later on, probably, to get them into a more comfortable playing position. But just for now, this is a pretty good spot. Next thing we need to do is we need to go into the accessories box because we need to grab the mounts for all of the Tom pads now. And they look like this, all right? So we're gonna slide these onto the mounts on from the other side of them. Might need to give these a bit of a wiggle as you push them in to help slide them in a bit. With the snare mount, put it through the left-hand side. Right, let's open up all of the boxes that say drum pad on them. All right, the pads are out and they look absolutely lovely. I love the, uh, the golden tension rods on them as well, fantastic. You'll be able to recognize the snare drum pad pretty much straight away because it is much bigger than the other three. Snare drum pad goes here on this short pole and then the other three pads go on the, uh, the Tom mounts that are left, the two up there and one down there. Don't think it matters what order you put them in. Nope, all, they're all the same. All right, so I'm gonna put the snare drum here and then the, the three drums in, let's do it. Okay, now that these pads are on the drums, we're gonna open up the box that says symbol pad. Right, so you should now have three symbol pads in front of you. If you look on the bottom, you'll see that two of them have 10 inch symbol with choke written on the bottom, and one has 10 inch symbol single zone. So single zone goes here, that's our hi-hat, and the symbol with choke goes here and here. Right, put them in there now. Right, so by this point, we're getting close to the home stretch now. Next, we're gonna open up the module. Then when you've got the module out, you wanna reach into your accessories box and grab the cable loom. As well, the bag that you would have found your drum key in, you've got three little connectors there. That's for attaching the drum kit brain onto the mount. Okay, so it might take some flipping around, but this is the angle that you want to have the mount for the drum kit module at. All right, so we wanna make sure that it's flat and at the, uh, the, this point pointing away from us. We then feed through the cables, the cable loom in through that gap there, and then we rest that, that in there. The instructions aren't too clear on this, but I'll just do that now and, uh, and show you what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so I've got it in there like that now, and I should then be able to flip this and pop this onto 
onto the clutch point there. And if we take a look on the underside here, you'll see that those tightening pins I've already pre-screwed in. So they are in there ready to go and ready to tighten up the drum kit brain. I'm gonna lift up the cable loom first, pop it into the brain and push it down and then tighten up these connection pins. There we go, that's in. So there's three more boxes to open, kick pad, kick pedal, and the Alesis Real Hat pedal. So I'm gonna open Alesis Real Hat pedal and kick pedal first. I'll leave kick pad till last. Real Hat pedal, it's nice and easy. You should just take it out and pop it on the left-hand side underneath the hi-hat pad. And that's ready, pretty much. I've got to plug it in though. Kick pedal next. So I've got the pedal out on the base. We want to be putting the base into the two holes that are in the side. So it's there, ready to go. Next, you're going to need to get your drum key out because we're loosening off this tension lug that's there. We're going to loosen that so that we can then put the beater in. Now, when you put the beater in, it's very important as these are mesh heads that you have the plastic side of the beater, not the felt facing the pad. And this is based on advice from Alesis themselves to say that the felt side of the beater can actually damage their mesh heads. So they always recommend to have the plastic side of the beater facing the mesh head. So that's there, that's ready to go. Lastly is the kick pad box. Now we're gonna open this upside down because then we should just be able to lift the bass drum tower out and get it ready. Magnificent, so that's out, that's ready to go. I'm gonna plunk that here. And then on our bass drum pedal, on the bass here, we've got something that we can loosen off and then we can use that to clamp this pedal onto the bass drum pad. Okay, so I'm getting this into the position now. We've got the clamp here ready to be tightened up. I'll be tightening it using this here. And also before we do that, we wanna make sure that the bass drum beater is lined up with the middle of the pad. It doesn't have to be exactly halfway up. It can be a little bit lower. We, you're gonna be adjusting the bass drum beater position. So I, I tend to like having a little bit poking out the bottom, not having it completely flush. Um, it changes the way that the, the pedal feels under the foot. So that tends, to, that tends to work nicely for me. Last couple of steps now, plugging everything in. So the cable loom is clearly labelled on each of the ends. You've got names here, so there's Tom one there. This is hi-hat control. We've got hi-hat here. Oh, sorry, no, that's snare drum. And we've got hi-hat here as well. Okay, so taking you through the various parts, we've got hi-hat control, hi-hat, snare, crash, tom one, tom two, tom three, ride cymbal, ride, and then the bass drum or the kick. Let's make sure that this is on the side here. So I'm going to go around now, I'm going to plug everything in. There are cable ties provided in the box that will allow you to keep your cables nice and neat as you plug everything in. Okay, so that's everything plugged in now. Uh, I still have a few more cable ties to put on, so I'll just sort the cables out a little bit more. Um, but I'm going to start playing around with the position of all of these pads make it so that it's a little bit more ready for, for just plugging in and playing. Before I do that though, um, we're gonna plug in the, the power cable for this. Going back into our accessories box again, we've got a little white box here, open that up and in here is the power supply, ready to go. Power supply plugs into the right hand side of the drum kit brain, down here. Right, I'm going to tidy up these pads a bit now. Oh, how could I forget? 
you've got the Alesis logo that you would clip on to the front here so that everybody knows you have an Alesis drum kit. I don't like to have too big a gap between my drums. I also like to keep things fairly flat, not have the pads angling at you at an extreme angle. And that's this kit set up and ready to go. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to subscribe as every subscription helps us out a massive amount. If you have any thoughts or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks again. I'll see you next time.